Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm James and I am continuing with this short series that I have been doing where I've been kind of troubleshooting my this engine which is the Sato FA62B. I it's, it's powering this Hangar 9 Piper Cub as you can see here. And sort of a little recap is I had some trouble with it. It was stalling out on me during about mid-flight and I decided just kind of just to go and take a look at everything. So the first thing I did is I pulled out the, in, the, the fuel tank and I checked all the tubing. I actually replaced the tank itself, but I didn't find any issues with that. And then I also, after that, I checked the glow plug. And the glow plug seems to be a little bit on the weak side, so I changed out the glow plug. And then the last thing I did was I adjusted the valves. The valves, they looked like they were okay, but they were maybe a little bit on the loose side. So I went and I adjusted those. I got them a little bit tighter. And now what I want to do is I just want to give it a test run. So all those videos are, I have a playlist of this sort of mini series if you want to check it out, but I'm not going to go over all the details. I just wanted to give you a little recap of kind of where I am on it right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the engine back sort of near the factory settings. I, I opened up the, the fine needle adjustment or the fine needle, uh, which is right down in here. Let's see if I can get my finger on it, like right here. It's hard to see. But basically, the top of the the top of the screw is a little bit recessed, not flush with the throttle arm. So generally, I think from the factory settings, it's going to be about a sixteenth, maybe a little bit less, sort of recessed below um, below the, the throttle arm sur surface right here. So I kind of back that out to be a little bit on the rich side again, and then I'm going to go ahead and start with a rich setting on the high speed needle also. So I'm going to get it fueled up. Um, for the fuel, I'm using this VP Power Master, and I didn't notice this. I, I purchased this without looking at it in detail, but you can see here it says 14% oil, 15% nitro. I actually increased the, the oil content. I added some of this clots, I guess it's banal or benol um, castor oil. And I don't, I don't have my, my calc sheet with me, and I don't, I don't know how many ounces I actually ended up putting in there, but I did calculate it. And by doing that, I probably dropped, well, I know that I dropped the, the nitro content down probably a few percent. But basically, this is running about 18% oil now with uh, probably, I don't know, maybe 13 or 14% nitro, something like that. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and get it fueled up and get everything set up with the tachometer, and we'll get this thing started. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start rich, and then I'm going to slowly close it and lean it out and as I lean it the RPMs are going to go up and then they're going to kind of reach that kind of the, the the highest point in the RPMs and then as I continue to lean it out then it's going to kind of die off a little bit and then I'll bring it back to the high RPM and then I'll back it out a little bit more to probably about 300 to 400 RPM less than the highest RPM setting and that'll kind of give me that um, rich setting that we're looking for. Once I get that kind of adjusted to where it needs to be then I'll check the low speed needle and play around with that and then I may have to come back to the high speed after I do that but the starting point is to use the high speed needle adjust that get it get it dialed in and then go to the low speed needle get that one dialed in and then maybe go back to the high speed and check it and kind of go back and forth a little bit till you get it at the right the right setting
All right, so what we just saw was, I was, th that maximum speed, I guess, is about 9,100 or 9,100 RPMs. That seemed to be sort of the high end. And then when I carried it a little bit more lean, it would drop off again back toward eight. So then I opened it up, to richen it up a little bit, and I brought it down a little bit below that 9,000 mark to around 88, 87, somewhere in there. Okay, well what we saw there, I was I was trying to adjust, I don't know if we got it all, it was kind of difficult to do, but I was trying to adjust that low speed needle and also using the throttle trim to bring it down. So you start with the throttle trim, kind of bringing it down close to where you want it, get your RPMs, which I was trying to shoot for about 2,500. And then as it got started getting rough, I would use the low speed needle and I would slightly lean it out to get it to run smoother, kick the RPMs up a little bit and continue working my way down until I got sort of the setting that I needed. Okay, so just to do a little recap here, what I did was I set both the high speed and the low speed needles to a rich setting, and which was basically a little bit, I think it was, this was around two, maybe a little bit more than two turns out. And then on the low speed, it was a little bit um, lower than the being flush with the throttle arm, which was basically what the factory settings were. They have it set the top of the needle for the low speed is about 16th of an inch, maybe less from the, from the top of the throttle arm. And then what I did is I worked with the high speed needle and using the tachometer to check the RPMs, I slowly increased or actually I slowly turned it in and leaned out the fuel mixture and the RPMs increased, increased, increased until it got around 9,000 RPMs or so. Then as I continued to lean it out, it then started to bog down, going back down to 8,000 
or so and that was too lean so then I back it out again to kind of richen it up. I continue to richen it up turning it out and until I got around 88, 87, I think somewhere around there RPMs, um, probably, you know, maybe 86 here and there. But basically I, I richened it up to kind of drop it down below the peak RPM. Once I got to that point, I moved over to the low speed needle adjustment. And to set the throttle or the idle, I'm sorry, to set the idle speed, um, I start with the throttle trim button and I drop the throttle trim down until I get close, which is gonna be around 2,500 to 3,000 RPMs. So I'll use the trim button to kind of get it close to there and it's gonna, and it was running pretty rough. So then I go to the low speed needle on this side back in here and I slowly turn that in to lean it out a little bit. And as I lean it out, as you lean it out, it starts to run smoother, but the RPMs increase. So then I go back to my throttle trim, drop it down some more. It'll drop down a little bit more it'll start to run a little rough. I go back to the, to the low speed needle, I lean it out a little bit more and get it to smooth out again until I get to that proper RPM. And it's sort of a back and forth process. And then hopefully when I hit the throttle, which I did, it would just, um, just respond nicely and not cut out. If it cut out, that means that I went too lean on that low speed needle adjustment. And then once I kind of did that, kind of got it where I thought it was, good i went back to the high speed and i just kind of fiddled with that a little bit and if i had to make any changes to it i mean typically the low speed needle adjustment shouldn't shouldn't um, impact the high speed needle but they are connected and they are part of the same system obviously so it's good to sort of go back and forth a little bit but generally you know they're, they're two sort of separate settings so anyhow i hope that kind of made sense my next um, move on this will be to get the cowl on get it cleaned up and take it out to the airfield and we'll get it up in the air and hopefully i won't have any more trouble with it and we'll see you never know and so okay so until next time thanks for watching the channel and also do want to uh, actually do want to point out again there is a playlist that i put this little mini series on and it's a separate playlist you can check it out so yeah all right thanks for watching the channel again and we'll see you next time